Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some exes that tried to ruin the wedding. Hold on, hold on. Is that his ex? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. The caption is, my ex asked me to sing at his wedding. First of all, why would you do that? Why would you ask her to sing at your wedding? And this is the song she chose, eh? Oh, oh, the water! Oh, dang, oh, he chases after her. Yo, your bride's over there, buddy. Your bride's over there. That's not, that's not your bride. That's not the bride. The fact that he went after her and not to comfort his new blushing bride is very telling. Creator responds, I've been leaving him on red. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're gonna watch that in a second. Let's see everybody else's responses. She didn't steal the show. She stole the day, crashed the wedding, caused the divorce with one song. She is our leader now. <laughs> very telling indeed, especially because he's been texting me almost every day for the past five days. Ooh, that's messy. Messy, messy, messy. She's a great singer, though. I have to say. Cause I dug my key into the side of his Am I the a-hole for showing up at my ex's wedding in a petty... I almost said petty dress. Pretty dress. Showing up in a pretty dress, not a petty dress. Well, kind of though. Let's find out. My ex and I had a peaceful divorce. We co-parent our three children together and there haven't really been many issues. My ex is getting married to Stephanie. I like Stephanie. She's been great with my kids and makes my ex happy. My ex invited me to their wedding and I was happy for him. It was my day with the kids so it made sense for me to come was his reasoning. When I arrived at the wedding, Stephanie thanked me for dropping the kids off and brushed me off. We never had any issues before. Okay. I explained that I was going to stay for the reception and she was very upset. I was confused because I assumed she knew that I would be in attendance. It turns out she didn't consider that I would actually accept the invitation. Okay, awkward. I told her I was invited and since I took the two hour drive, I would be staying for the entire duration. No, 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 no. If she doesn't want you there, she doesn't want you there, babe. She didn't like this response. Stephanie asked me to leave and I stood my ground. Mm. She went on to complain about my dress upstaging hers. My ex and former mother-in-law helped her to calm down and the wedding shortly began. I thought that was the end of it, but later in private, Stephanie accused me of trying to ruin her special day. Well, yeah, you kind of stayed when she clearly didn't want you there. Yeah, it sucks that, you know, there was some miscommunication and, and whatever, but it's her wedding. And if she was uncomfortable with you being there, you're not allowed to be there. She is convinced that I wanted to show off and make the wedding about my divorce. She said, it was rude for me to not leave after the bride requested it because it was her special day, correct? I told her that I'm not responsible for her insecurities. Absolutely not! Don't ever say that! Oh, okay, okay, I see how this is. And once again, reminded her I have no interest in stealing my ex back. Edit, the dress I posted is on my page and since this is a throwaway, I don't remember the random password I typed up. Okay, whatever. Uh, I am curious to see the dress, but I guess we won't. You're not an a-hole for showing up, but you are an a-hole for staying. Like, I cannot even believe that you wanted to stay somewhere where you weren't wanted. You're the a-hole I love when these posts are skewed to be, but I didn't do anything wrong. And then you see the dress and it's literally a red wedding dress. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, is that the dress? Bro, you, bro, red? Ooh. That means something, doesn't it? Before OP deleted her previous posts and comments, they apparently had bragged on True Off My Chest about upstaging the bride at her ex's wedding. Oh God, let's see the link, let's see it. <laughs> You're the a-hole times a million. How can you even ask, OP? Yep, OP pretended to wear a pretty dress. I love how that she like omitted the information of it being like a red wedding dress. <laughs> Knowing we'd all assume it'd be a pretty cocktail dress or a similar outfit. No, she shows up in a full on black tie gown which actually could be a red wedding gown. She knew what she was doing, 100% the a-hole. 
It literally says woman's sweetheart, full lace beach wedding dress, mermaid bridal gown. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, the plot has thickened. My wedding was ruined by a jealous ex and she decided to brag about this on Reddit. All right. Let's hear the bride side of the story. My husband and I have been married for two weeks and I'm already having regrets. My husband's ex has been making this really difficult for us. She makes sure my stepchildren call me by my first name rather than any term of endearment. Our wedding happened to fall on one of her days with the kids. My husband invited her for reasons I'm still unsure of. I was unaware of her receiving an invitation, but my husband never informed me that she'd accepted. She came with the kids an hour later. I assume she was dropping them off, but she had intentions to stay. She was dressed more elegantly than me and that fell off, so I asked her to leave. She disrespectfully told me she would be staying. <laughs> My husband and mother-in-law told me she was like family and would not be leaving. I was disgusted by this because it was obvious what this woman was doing. She posted the story on here, but in a way that made me out to be a toxic villain in the story. The story had appeared on the popular page of Reddit and was also on a friend's TikTok for you page. It wasn't hard to identify myself because I recognized the dress and she also used my real name in the story. I don't understand why she's doing this because we had been civil with each other until now and I'm very offended by the way she degraded me in her defensive comments and by the fact that my husband took her side. Your husband doesn't want to take the responsibility for inviting his ex to your wedding. He probably wants things to be good with her, but he should have told you. That's something I would definitely want to know if it was my wedding. If my husband to be's ex was going to show up at all, I would want to know that. To the ex. You're the a-hole and this goes for everybody else. Do not stay where you're not wanted ever. Doesn't matter the circumstance. You hold your head high and you leave. Me showing up to my ex's wedding. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> children of all ages, act like you know. <laughs> it's going down. I like that we're dressed I'm in black, captain. like it's, it's a funeral. <laughs> I'm your captain. It's going down. Oh, the glass. I'm oh, no. It's going down. With a Birkenstock, I'm eh? Now. It's going down. There, that's satire for sure, but I'd also be careful about wearing a funeral outfit to a wedding. Would I be the a-hole for taking my friend's ex as my date to her wedding after I got kicked out of her wedding party? My friend is marrying my ex-boyfriend of four years. It's been pretty awkward. I was kicked out of her wedding party because I was uncomfortable wearing a very revealing bridesmaid's gown. This wasn't that big of a deal as we're not exactly close since she got with my ex. Yeah, yeah that, would, that would ruin things a little bit. However, she still expects me to take on all the duties of a bridesmaid. I told her that was ridiculous and she needed to find a new bridesmaid. She then almost uninvited me from the wedding, but instead decided I could go if I follow a very specific set of rules, ranging from how to dress to who to talk to. I was absolutely crushed as I was still looking forward to the wedding, even if I wasn't gonna be in it. I found out through a mutual friend who's still in the wedding party that the bride continually makes fun of me and talks crap about me constantly. And so do several of the other bridesmaids. Remember what I said about not going where you're not wanted? Don't go there. Just don't go. I was just about to not go when I ran into the bride's ex, who's also invited to the wedding. He's the groom's cousin. He was kicked out of the wedding party because he was given a list of rules to follow. He and I decided we're gonna go together and have fun breaking as many rules that we can. <laughs> Such as wearing what we want to wear, drinking at the open bar, talking to whoever we want, and dancing. We're not allowed to dance. Okay, whoa, okay, mm, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, this is a tough one here. Sounds kind of sucky on all sides. Nothing we would do would distract us from the bride's big day other than breaking the ridiculously petty rules that we were supposed to follow. We're also both at the point where we're ready to sever ties with the bride and groom. Would we be the a-holes? Sorry if this was scattered. A lot happened in the past month and her wedding is in three weeks. Thanks in advance. I'm willing to accept my judgment. And accept it, you shall. I mean, listen. Brides being a bridezilla, for sure. You are being petty. It is petty to show up with her ex, like it is. It's also petty to break all the rules and to like try to ruin the wedding. Like you're gonna go crash the wedding, essentially is what you want permission to do. You're gonna be an a-hole, like you are. And guess what? It's okay to be an a-hole once in a while. <laughs> It's the people that are like delusional that don't understand that they're being a-holes. If you want to be a petty a-hole, go ahead and be a petty a-hole. But understand that that's what you are. 
You're planning to go to someone else's wedding to f it up out of petty revenge. You have admitted that you're going there to break as many rules as possible. No matter how ridiculous the rules are, this is her big day. The bride and other bridesmaids are the a-hole too. They're talking crap about you behind your back. And I can't say I wouldn't be annoyed by that because I would. She's with your ex-boyfriend and you have admitted that this is what caused you and her to not be as close. And now you're planning on going with her ex-boyfriend to the wedding. Honestly, I think as funny as I think it would be for you to go there and break some of the rules, it still makes you an a-hole. See, you're an a-hole, she's an a-hole, you're all a-holes. Big, big, big gaping a-holes. <laughs> nah, it's an a-hole move, but as someone pointed out, there needs to be a justified a-hole option. I also agree with that. There's no justified a-hole in this situation. Yes, the bride sucks. Yes, the other bridesmaids suck. Yeah, the situation sucks. But when you have the option of just not attending the wedding, it's the must- Uh, uh. But when you have the option of just not attending the wedding, it's the much better option over I'm gonna go to the wedding to completely mess up the day for everyone else, including the parents of both couples. There's no justification for going to a wedding for specifically the purpose of being as big of a-holes as you can possibly be. There's nothing the bride could have done short of murder that would make this acceptable behavior, especially when you can just not go. I agree. There's no need to go. I kind of wish that you didn't like admit this on Am I the A-Hole? Like I kind of wish that you just showed up to the wedding, you know, kept your head down and then like maybe hooked up with her ex. <laughs> that way she could hear about it later. So it doesn't take the, you know, the spotlight away from her at the wedding, but like after the wedding, you're the A-Hole, they're the A-Hole and you get nothing. Nothing. Wedding crasher. My ex-girlfriend got married and I'm not happy for her one bit. What the f that marriage? Wedding crasher. I'm gonna I'm gonna crash that wedding with, with, with my Lamborghini. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come in there. Oh, no, no, no. Who do you think you are? Now, I, it's not gonna happen. I, I'm gonna ruin it. I'm gonna make sure everybody's like, what the f And they're gonna go home, okay? The guy's gonna be like, yo, I don't even love her anymore. The girl's gonna be like, oh my God. I'm gonna make sure, okay, from the bottom of my heart that nothing goes smooth. Okay, this marriage, uh-uh, no, no kids, no happiness, nada, nothing, nothing, okay? As long as I'm alive, she ain't getting married to nobody. Not even to me, bro, to be honest, like, I don't give a fuck if she don't love me. I don't even love myself. But her, <laughs> married, happy, no way, Jose. I'm the Grinch, okay? I'm the Grinch, but instead of Christmas, I'm ruining this marriage, all right? Nobody is happy as long as I have a say-so, you understand? Now, cancel the marriage before I gotta cancel it for you. All right. In the wise, wise words of Elsa, let it go, let it go. <laughs> Just let it go, buddy. Don't you dare show up to that wedding. Am I the a-hole? I didn't attend my son's wedding. I instead spent the evening with his ex-wife. Hang on, hang on, what? Quick backstory, after graduating high school, my son moved three states away for college. At 19, he married a girl he met. I tried convincing him to wait because I personally felt he was too immature. They both dropped out and moved back here to his hometown. At 20, they had their first child, a beautiful little girl. 16 months later, my daughter-in-law gave birth to their second child, a little boy. After the first baby, my wife and I noticed our daughter-in-law wasn't happy. We both thought it was PPD related. Just after the second arrived, my son and his wife separated. She would bring the kids over for a visit. It was then she began unloading on us. I know there's two sides to every story, but considering I know my son, I believed her. I sat my son down numerous times to speak with him regarding his marriage. He refused to take responsibility, blamed her for everything, even when I directly pointed out where he was the sole problem. They got into counseling for a year. Things were okay on the surface. Our daughter-in-law filed for divorce. My son, three days later, was on Facebook announcing his new girlfriend. A month later, they were engaged. Whoa! My son forced his then wife to become a permanent permanent stay-at-home mom at the birth of their first child. She, of course, had no other family or friends here. She knew no one aside from us. She had nowhere to go with two small children. Unbeknownst to our son, my wife and I helped her financially and got her an apartment. Whoa, messy. Before the divorce was even finalized, we received a wedding invitation. I made it clear to my son I would not be attending and they would not have my blessing. His mother told him she would see to it that I would attend. I stayed consistent in my decision. I also asked him not to bring his fiance around our house out of respect for the mother of his children. The wedding happened on February 11th, the night before my wife gave me the final push. I did not attend. Our daughter also did not attend for the same reasons. My wife picked up our grandkids, got them dressed and attended the wedding. My daughter and I decided to spend the evening with his ex. Wow. Oh, that's, <laughs> jeez. I couldn't imagine her sitting alone while her kids attended her father's wedding. 
She was taken aback that I didn't end up attending his wedding. We took her out to distract her mind. I just wanted her to know she'll always be considered family to us. My daughter also made the joke that they can drop the in-law status and just be sisters now. She was very tearfully grateful. I realized just how badly she needed our support and specifically on that night. The next morning, my son called me to tell me how much a horrible father I am for not attending his wedding. I think you get a pass, babe. A few days later, he caught wind that I spent the evening with his ex. He said that was the ultimate form of betrayal. Oh, yeah? I mean, you would know, wouldn't you? And further, myself and his sister would have to earn a relationship with him on his terms only. You're not the a-hole, my dear, and I know this wasn't an ex that ruined the wedding, but I still like it. Subscribe!